my channel and today's video is a highly requested video and one I have promised you guys for ages and so now that we're all in the middle of self-isolation or social distancing or whatever you guys are up to I thought now is a really really good time to show you where I'm going to be spending a lot of my time at the moment and that is the downstairs of my house living room dining room and kitchen tour and also my little secret room which I told you about in my Q&A. So yeah, I thought I would show you guys around where I can. I am gonna try and show you some before and after pictures. Um, I do have some pictures from before I moved in and a couple of things that were different when I moved in. So if I can, I will put them up on the screen. So I'm gonna give you a little tour around, talk you through all of my pieces, my furniture, some of my plans for the future as well in this downstairs area. And yeah, give you a little sneaky peek around Casa del Bang On style. So I hope you enjoy it and yeah, let's get going. Okay, so yeah, this is where you come in. I have a tiny little hallway, but it's really just like more of a, a vestibule, as it were. Uh, I've got a beautiful um, bay window. It's so sunny today, so I hope the sun doesn't cause absolute chaos. It's fab that it's so bright, um, but it is like majorly, majorly bright. So um, yeah, so in my bay window, I've got Gus in his little bed. So, so many of you love this bed on Instagram. Whenever I put up pictures of Gus in his bed, he's boiling hot because he's been sat in the sunshine and we've been playing ball. So, but yeah, I got this bed quite a while ago and I've not been able to find the exact one, but I have found some similar ones, but it's the Kirkland Signature Sofa Bed. Um, I'll do my best to link uh, the similar one that I found. But yeah, bay window, um, I've actually kept up the curtains and the curtain pole that were already here when I moved in um, because I didn't find these grey curtains too offensive and the curtain pole is obviously already fitted to the bay window and so it seemed silly to, to take it down. Um, it would be lovely if it was gold. I may ask in the future to paint it gold but at the moment it really doesn't offend me. The kind of a chenille, slightly shiny Essex glam chenille, um, but yeah, I don't mind them at all. A few things on my windowsill, I've got this vase which I got from um, Home Bargains, this rock which I've had for ages and I've been wanting to crack it open via the seal because, and you'll learn this as we tour more of my house, that I'm quite into rocks to be honest. And I found this one in Pembrokeshire when I was away with my mum and dad and I really want to try cracking it open um, to see what's inside using this um, seam here. But I need somebody stronger than me. I've tried it with a chisel and a hammer and it didn't work. Okay, so then in this corner uh, we've got my marble tables which were a lovely Audi buy. I had these in the old house and they didn't really fit anywhere because they were black, but I bought them for my future house and they now fit here, lovely. They're real marble. Um, yeah, solid marble, little nest of tables. There's a smaller one there as well. And on here is uh, one of my fossils. So, um, okay, let's just explain this now. <laughs> so when I was younger, I wanted to be an archeologist. Um, or a paleontologist but I was massively massively into fossils and I still am in a lot of ways uh, and I have a collection of fossils and rocks this one I actually bought from a, um, a fair and it's all polished it's one of my favorite things that I own um, it's so beautiful and it wasn't that expensive and it sits in this little box then I've got my lovely feather lamp, which is just the most ostentatious thing you've ever seen, but I bloody love it. And a candle. And that's in that little corner. Um, so when I moved in, there were some things that were obviously already here. One of the things that was already here were these black floating shelves. And there was also a black um, gas fire. So I decided to sort of go with the black theme and um, I bought myself a black TV stand. Just a simple cheap one until I decided what I wanted to do in this corner. It's a really cheap TV unit, it's just a little stand thing. And then recently I bought these baskets to store my DVDs in so that it all just looks really, really neat. Because yes, much to Emma's despair, I do still watch DVDs, soz. 
So the shelves were already here, so I've kind of just accessorised them with a few things. So up on the top there, I've got my signed um, Nerf Herder LP. Nerf Herder are the band that do the theme song to Buffy and years and years ago I went to see them um, play a gig and it's kind of a long story but I got backstage and I hung out with the band and they signed a load of stuff for me so yeah. So that's up there at the top along with just a couple of gold candlesticks. And then down on the next shelf uh, there's just a couple of pictures and a little succulent, a little picture of Gus there in the snow and a little um, yeah, faux succulent and then on this shelf is my vision board so if you don't know about my vision board I did make a little video all about what's on there and why and um, so I'll link that in the description box and then um, this is actually um, Eddie's ashes and a card that was sent to me by one of the veterinary well two of the veterinary nurses and one of the vets um, uh, is on that shelf there with a little um, lilac candle that um, yeah, sits with Eddie and then down on the bottom shelf which you can't really see because it's behind the TV um, is my little um, I don't know why this isn't stood up there we go there's a little camera photo frame with a picture of me and my friend Bex at the zoo and then over in this corner is another little rock with fossils in in a glass box this is part of a statue from a show that I worked on when I worked at the theatre it's a memento from my time at the theatre a little camera shaped vase and a couple of books they're this way round because it just looks more aesthetically pleasing but this is the complete works of Shakespeare and this is Bram Stoker's Dracula and Frankenst Mary Shelley's Frankenstein in there so yeah, that's what's on those shelves there. Um, so yeah, I've kind of had to stick with them because they are already built in. Before, there was a horrid big black and chrome gas fire and it was the size of an LCD TV. It was massive. It didn't work. And when I broached the subject of having it removed um, by a proper person and all filled in, they were really up for it. And I said that I would organize the fire surround if they would organize removing the gas fire and having it all plastered in. And they did, within two weeks, it was all done and dusted. So I found this fire surround in a charity shop. It was black actually. And originally I thought I would have it black. Then I decided I would do it white just to blend in a bit more with the wall. So yeah, it's a sort of faux surround out of wood um, and I had to notch it out a little bit to fit round the skirting board. But yeah, I painted it a chalky white so it blends in a bit more with the wall. And then I've got a few bits and bobs here on the um, fireplace. I've got a vase which is from La Redoute, uh, but I don't think they do it anymore. A little vase, um, it's actually from Poundland a little print from Decenio and then these are some bits that I found down at the beach um, some glass and some shelves on a bit of wood all found at my local beach and then on the other side of the fireplace are my beautiful bookends now I talked about these on Instagram these are my favorite things in the whole world I'm so so happy with them it's unbelievable Oliver Bonas had some pink quartz bookends and I wanted them for ages and they were pink quartz with gold glitter on the outside and I found these blue agate crystal bookends on Facebook marketplace for £10 and uh, I bought them and covered them in glitter myself and I think they look absolutely beautiful I am so so happy with them um, so yeah they sit on the fireplace just on the end there with some books in and I haven't really decided what to do with the inner of the fireplace so for the moment I've just left it as it is because I think it just looks really nice and neutral but in there I have got my little magazine rack which also doubles as when you're sat on the sofa it can double as a little table for you to put your coffee or your tea on this was a little DIY I did it myself with this gold and marble effect and it's over on my Instagram TV so I'll link that in the description box but that just sits in the fireplace with a little book on top and a little plant pot and 
And then on the floor, I've just got a rug, um, which is, yeah, it's just white and black to kind of fit in with the general decor. And that has to sit um, long ways like that because this route here, which I'll show you in a minute, is there's no back or side access to this house. So I have to carry my bins and things and my bin bags through the house. And I don't want to constantly be walking over this rug and getting it filthy. So the rug sits this way round like that. And it sits under the sofa. So if you remember when I first moved in, I had a much bigger sofa and it didn't fit. <laughs> and I had to sell it, it was a corner sofa. So I had to get a smaller sofa and an armchair. So my sofa is this grey one from the DFS So Simple range. Um, I went for a slightly more classic style rather than a really modern style. Um, so it's kind of got this turned arms and it's got this piping detail on it. And it's in this lovely soft um, cottony feel wool fabric, it's lovely. But it very rarely gets sat on, if I'm honest, because there's only me and I tend to sit in my armchair. Um, but it's got lots of different cushions on here. These cushions I made myself with some fabric from Ikea. Um, but yeah, as you can see, there's obviously a pink, pink and palmy theme going on. So the sofa sits like that. And then over in this corner is my armchair. So this is the door to the living room. So out there is my front door and you come in here and there's this kind of like little alcove as it were. And the door that you can see over there, that is the door to my understairs cupboard. So under there are my coats and there's like my hoover, my ironing board and all that kind of thing. So I couldn't fit a sofa in here without it blocking the door. So instead I went for this lovely snuggler armchair. So this armchair is like a 1.5 person chair and I got the matching footstool. And this is from the company Snug Shack and it all comes flat packed you build it yourself and again I made a little video of it on my Instagram TV so I'll link that and I went for it in this beautiful colour which is called blush coral but I would say it's more of a pink colour um, but it's absolutely gorgeous and it's so comfy to just sit and lounge on over in this corner have a little uh, gold magazine rack which I have got permission to hang on the wall. I just haven't done it yet because I am debating about doing some kind of feature wall in this area, possibly with wallpaper, possibly with paint. And so I decided to hold off mounting that um, magazine rack. Um, but yeah, a lovely gold magazine rack, which I found in HomeSense. So at the moment that just leans up there. Got some more cushions on there and then over here as a sort of side table is a little Ikea unit with some storage boxes at the bottom and some bits and bobs I keep all my candles and things under there but on here it's just a little lamp which is one I painted black to fit in with the decor some of my favorite books um, so this is my favorite uh, artist Anthony Gormley and then under here is a photo book that I made from all my pictures from when I went to Tokyo um, so this is when I first got into photography and I went to Tokyo um, with my camera and yeah just basically just took pictures of everything in Tokyo it's an amazing place I would love 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 to go back but yeah, these are some of my uh, favourite ever pictures I've ever taken, I think. Um, so I keep this book out so I can, you know, have a look at it every so often. Um, so yeah, that's on there. Um, so that just sits next to the little snuggler chair um, so that I can put a drink on it or whatever. But this is where I tend to sit and watch TV. It's really comfy and cosy. And um, yeah, really, really happy with that armchair. It's beautiful quality. Um, I bought it myself. Um, I did get a discount code, but I did uh, buy it with my own money. 
Uh, then over here next to the sofa, I have got a mirror. Um, loads of people, whenever I share this mirror on my Instagram, people are always asking me. So this is actually two things combined. So the first is a black sort of window paned mirror. And the bottom is one of the Ikea picture ledges, um, which they're about five quid or something in black. And all I did was mount the mirror and mount the... Um, ledge directly underneath and it creates this really cute little well I think cute little thing so I've got the other vase that goes with the one on my fireplace sits here some candles and then the first of many illustrations which you'll see around the house um, a lot of them are done by a friend of mine um, her Instagram is illustrated bake and she illustrated this of me it was one of my outfits from uh, London Fashion Week I think and um, it used to be my logo I'd scanned it into the computer and it actually used to be my logo on my website um, on my blog and my Instagram and everything but I don't use that anymore but yeah I've got it framed there because I love it it's one of my favourite little drawings through into I guess like the dining room part of the room um, I've got this shelving unit here which you might have seen on a little video that I did styling up all the shelves so I did a little video um, styling up these shelves on my Instagram TV if you fancy a nosy um, but yeah they're old La Redoute so I can't link the exact shelves anymore but I've got a little wire bin at the bottom all of Gus's toys there at the bottom, books, plants, I've got this lovely, I love this neon sign, Ooh. this cute neon sign which was from actually a Valentine's range at um, Sainsbury's, little terrarium there at the back and then in here, this is how bad I am for just keeping things, this is from the Biscuiteers, this is actually from when Emma did an event, a handbag related event, we all got these biscuits that were iced to look like Chanel's. <laughs> I literally still have one. I'm never going to eat it. I'm just going to keep it in the nice big biscuitiers box on my shelf. <laughs> and then on the next shelf up, got a couple of plants and then this little gum bar machine that I found in a charity shop. A little fake plant at the top from Ikea which trails down and then at the very top I've got my frame uh, with a picture of Eddie in it and this um, I did back when Eddie when I lived in the old house and Eddie was still around I took his paw prints in clay you can buy this as a set and uh, it comes with the clay and everything I'll link it if you're interested you can basically take paw prints of your little doggy friend and frame them and then that's his little collar so that sits up there so that he's he's in the house but he's not sort of like obviously I don't necessarily want to like see it all the time because I'm just get upset all the time um but yeah so that's that shelving unit okay and then behind the sofa is actually this little thin console table so this is actually a DIY that I did ages ago it's an Ikea hack um, it's one of my most popular videos on YouTube and it used to live in my hallway this in the old house with a shoe rack under it but now it sits behind my sofa and I love it here um, so yeah it's an Ikea computer desk and I hacked it into a gold and marble console table and so on here I've got a few bits and bobs I've got some um, vases with some pampas grass in, more rocks, this is where you'll start to see my rock obsession, um, little marble platter here with a candle on and then in this display box is my, well some of my fossils and rocks, so this is actually a little display box from Ikea, it's got a glass lid, you might remember me buying this in one of my other videos and inside uh, yeah, some of my favourite fossils. So this, I 
found this when I was about 10 or 11 um, near St Mary's Lighthouse in Newcastle, which is where my family are from. So they all sit in there. I know, I know. But you wouldn't have guessed that about me, would you, that I was a, a rock person? <laughs> and then the bottom end of the room is the dining room area. And then the, there's glass doors that lead through into the kitchen. So in here I've got my dining table. So my dining table is actually an Ikea kitchen table. It's temporarily um, sprayed black. It's ready for a bit of a DIY. It's actually having a wooden top made for it. I just haven't managed to do it yet. But the bottom half has been primed black ready for the transformation. But So I have uh, the dining table with two chairs which I've also painted the legs black in anticipation and a bench uh, with metal hairpin legs that sit at it. So that's my dining table and it works really, really well actually um, when I have people over. Then I've got some prints on the wall which are from the old house um, and I, they were my prints and I really liked them and so they used to be in the living room and now I've got them in my dining room here. And above it is a branch which I hung up at Christmas and it's hung from some command uh, strip hooks. It's just a tree branch um, that's been sprayed white and it had baubles hanging off it at Christmas, decorations and these um, diamondy decorations and I kept it up because I just really like it above my dining table and I think for Easter I'm going to hang some little Easter eggs off it which I think will look really really nice so at the moment that is staying. On the dining table I just have a little tray with some um, candles on, candle holders, a little dip tea candle, my beautiful tortoiseshell-esque candle holder from Matalan and these um, candle holders are from La Redoute so one's there and then the larger one sits here next to my pampas grass. Over in this corner I have my very new purchase, this was an eBay purchase, this is a little drinks trolley. This is going to be a DIY project and I haven't quite worked out what I'm going to do with it yet, um, but I've been collecting barware for, oh my god, absolutely ages because I knew I wanted a bar trolley. Um, so yeah, I've got um, an old barware kit and I've got an um, old gold got a gold ice bucket down the bottom as well and beautiful Oliver Bonas um, marble bottle opener my vintage glasses which I got at a, um, a fair in the village where I used to live little coasters but yeah I haven't quite worked out what I'm going to do with this trolley yet what kind of DIY whether I'm going to go down the marble route to match my console table or whether I'm going to do something a bit different with mirror, perspex, I don't know. So do let me know what you guys think in the comments. But that sits there perfectly in that corner and literally is the perfect size. And then over here, you might recognise this mirror. This is my usual filming in um, outfit selfie mirror. Um, so yeah, this is that massive... Ikea mirror that I used to have in my old place and to be honest this is the only place that it would fit but I like it here it reflects lots of light back in the room it's really good for outfit pictures so that sits there with my little planter next to it uh, with a real plant in which I've managed not to kill and this is another recent purchase so oh hello so I found this in a charity shop this week I painted it black, it was dark brown, and that's going to just um, sit there. It's kind of like, it's a bit like a prop chair really. I am going to use it for photos and things like that. It's definitely an occasional chair. It's not something you'd sit on all the time. But yeah, it's lush, isn't it? I'm so happy with it. It's 20 quid. So yeah, so that mirror sits here in the bottom end of my dining room. So then my little secret room, so they call this a study, <clears throat> but as I said it's got no windows in it, so really for me what I use it for is um, storage, 
I have a lot of stuff and I keep everything. I keep packaging, I keep envelopes, I keep craft stuff and I've obviously got loads of photography equipment as well. So all of that is in here. So over here I've got my Malum unit which used to be in my office. This has got my craft stuff in the bottom two drawers, my photography, lots of my photography stuff in the top, top two drawers and craft stuff in the bottom two drawers, sorry. On the top is my little um, collection of cameras and my straps, my printer. Then over here, uh, it's just it's a great room to just shut the door and ignore it all. So I've got my little Hoover in here, my little handheld boxes, which I repurpose for posting things out or storage. This is all envelopes that I've ever been sent and packaging, all the tote bags that I've ever been sent and I reuse them. I reuse all of my packaging. And then on here is, so this is my old desk. This used to be my dressing table in my old house. I don't know if you remember. It didn't fit in this house as my dressing table. Um, so it's down here as a desk. But as I said, I don't really sit at it. I work at the kitchen table or um, I sit on um, my armchair and work there. But I didn't want to get rid of this. So it sits in here and I, I store stuff inside. On here I've got a few different things, you might want to see some of my Harry Potter stuff, my golden snitch, my time turner, my wand from when I went to uh, Orlando, little Hedwig, and then yeah a couple of um, awards that my blog won are there, and some photos from events that I went to, so this is another illustration by my friend Illustrated Bake. Some other illustrations from events. Love this one. This one's from a Fashion Week event. I might frame some of these and put them on the wall. I just haven't got around to it. This is another illustration by Illustrated Bake. She was working at um, a pop-up swatch event at London Fashion Week. A picture that Jay took of me at Fashion Week. Um, yeah. All of my Disney ears from when I went. Uh, so this is when I went to Disneyland Paris with Emma. These sparkly ones were from when I went to Orlando, I think. And these ones are from when I went to Tokyo Disney. I can't remember which way around those are, but yeah. A few little books and things. This is a little <laughs> waving cat from when I went to Tokyo. And then, as I said, I keep everything. I keep packaging, I keep bits of cardboard, and I use them for DIYs. I keep string, I keep elastic bands, because you never know when you might need something and you think, oh, I've got one of them. Uh, this is all my photography equipment. So I've got a ring light, I've got soft box lights, I've got reflector. And then behind here is my little mini rail, which I use sometimes for style videos. I bring it out when I film in my dining room. So that just sits behind the door in this room. And yeah, that's that room basically. It's just like a little, little storage room. But it, uh, this coving runs the whole way around the house. It's, love, it's quite a lovely little room really. But there's no point really doing too much with it apart from using it to store stuff. And obviously what you can do is shut the door and uh, pretend it's not there. <laughs> So as it's such a big long room and it's open, I obviously had to get two um, lampshades that match and it took me ages to find lights that I liked. I kept buying them, bringing them home and putting them up and they weren't right. And eventually I found these beautiful lights. I'll just turn them on as well so you can see them lit. Um, yeah, I just love them. They're like a um, linen effect shade with this gold band round and they just, they work perfectly. They tie in with the little elements of gold that are in the room. And yeah, super, 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 super happy with them. Once I found them, I was so relieved. And they weren't too expensive either because obviously it can be quite pricey when you've got to buy two that match. So yeah, so that is the whole room. So as you can see, it's obviously a little bit different from when I moved in. Um, but yeah, I love the layout. I feel like it's starting to come together maybe later in the year I might add some colour into the room. The other thing that I'm thinking of doing is taking the mirror out of this alcove and also these shelves out of that alcove and building in um, built-in 
um, shelves into both alcoves and then pop in the mirror on top of my fireplace instead. That's a project that possibly uh, I might think about and especially one of the reasons why I'm thinking about it is because there is a bit of sound transfer from my lovely 96 year old neighbour next door um, and so I'm thinking that building in bookcases may provide some sort of sound buffering so I don't hear as much sound transfer. Okay and then through the double glass doors is into my kitchen. So as I said my kitchen is probably the least favourite room in the house um it's not awful i don't hate it and i know that lots of you will comment and say oh why don't you paint the cabinets and do this and do that the thing is there's so much hello there's so much that i would want to do in here and i don't know if the time money and everything is worth it when it's not my property um and the, there is a lot like even if you painted the cabinets a nice color you'd still have this floor these tiles aren't really the kind of tiles that you would want to paint and there is a lot and I have painted tiles before and it's okay but maintaining them is tricky and this amount of tiles I don't know if I would want to tackle. So for the moment I like it because it's quite big, there's plenty of room for everything and it's got loads of appliances so as far as I'm concerned at the moment I'm happy. So in here we have got a um, fridge freezer which um, was in the property so I didn't have to buy one and on the top of there I've got all of my gin <laughs> um, and then yeah lots of kitchen cabinets um, and oven um, built in. I've got a few marble bits and bobs in here. Over here I've got my appliances, kettle toaster, whatnot. Um, so one of the things is that the uh, work surfaces are wood and they so easily mark, like already they're marked and so every so often I have to sand them back and there's a load of Danish oil and I have to oil all the worktops, totally not my choice of worktops if I would have them, they're quite tacky, uh, I would have something much more hard wearing than real wood, um, however I try and get round it by like for example here where I have my tea and I have a little pot normally where I put my tea bags and you do get marks in the tea bags and so I bought myself this little marble platter in the sale from TK Maxx and that sits here uh, with some of my reusable straws and my tea bags and things so if, if anything does get marked it's this and not the work surface. I also really really hate the sink. <laughs> I just hate white sinks it's quite marked inside um, but again I'm trying to run with it so I've got all white accessories or gold uh, on my windowsill I've got more marble accessories with gold this beautiful gold and perspex and terrazzo is that how you say it uh, knife block which my parents got me for Christmas uh, yeah love 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 that a couple of plants and some more storage again one of the things i don't like in this kitchen is these awful blinds and again i know i could change some of these things but i've been working on other rooms that are a bit easier to make over and as i said this room works practically so i'm trying not to worry too much about it below that i've got a dishwasher and a washing machine as well hello over in this corner um, is some crockery which I can't actually fit in my cupboards. This was from a collaboration with Sainsbury's, uh, really love it all but yeah it doesn't actually fit. Then I've got these tubs where I put my recycling so I've got my plastic and my paper in here and then when they get full I put them into bags in the garden ready for recycling day. These baskets are from Ikea. Uh, then over in this corner you might recognise this unit from one of my first videos about the house. This is a little unit that I got for all of Gus and Eddie's stuff, now obviously just Gus's stuff. It's actually designed for an office, uh, but I bought it because it fits perfectly in this corner. Uh, the drawer has lots of medication and uh, his grooming stuff and everything. And then this shelf here has all of his towels and this is all of his food and his treats. And yeah, it just, it fits in this corner perfectly. Has a little hook on the side where I hook his harness and his lead. And it's got this kind of metal 
perforated thing going on. So to match it, I got the shoe rack, which is also white metal and perforated. This is where I keep all of my shoes next to the radiator, my dog walking shoes. It's really good to dry them out. Tea towels are from Primark. And then above that, again, you might have seen these in a video where I talked about that I'd got these notice boards. These are the IKEA notice boards and these are so good. I love them so much. I've wanted them for ages. So I've got two of them, one large one, one slightly smaller one and uh, then you can buy accessories to go on them. So these are actually um, hooks from an old notice board that I sprayed gold, uh, but you can buy uh, hooks. These are the Ikea hooks, the white ones. But yeah, I have my dog walking hats hanging along the bottom. And then I've got um, some photos um, on here. This hook actually here normally has my dog walking coat on it. But that's currently under the stairs. But yeah, I've got a little picture of me and Eddie. And then I got the bar so I could hang all of my tape. So I always know where my tape is uh, on there. Got scissors, um, things like chargers and cables. So I literally always know where they are. Strings, scissors, just yeah, a bit of a sort of crafty board. But I always know where everything is. Like my, this is my... Um, Rail card. So literally when I go to London, I know that my rail card is always there because I'm always scrabbling around trying to find it. The same with my gym wristband uh, is hung there, so I always know where it is. So that's there on that wall. And below it, I've got my bin and my wellies and my little shoe rack. And then behind this door is my little downstairs toilet, which has the same kind of tiling in. And again, I haven't done anything with this room because, okay, it's maybe not to my taste, but I've put some of my uh, pre-existing accessories in it and it works. It's really handy to have it down here. And so, you know, I'm just living with it. So this is my mirror from my old little loo. That's what we call it up north, little loo. My old downstairs bathroom. So I've just hung that on the wall. Then I've got some other bits in here, some gold bits, little gold plant pot with a fake plant in here because there's no window in here so a real one wouldn't survive. Some little gold bathroom accessories, little gold soap dispenser. My um, palm towels that used to be in my old bathroom. Again, my old uh, gold bathroom accessories. I've just popped them in here because they work in here. And then above the toilet, I've just got a little print, which was a gift from a friend of mine. It's all different um, dog breeds. And that's just above the thing. So yeah, it's just a little room. It's got a toilet in there and a sink. And a mirror. And yeah, it's just quite handy to have. I've left the light up that was already in here. Yeah, not really done much with that room, apart from just put my stuff in it. And then round that corner is the back door which leads out um, to my garden. And that's my garden out there, which is quite cute. A little garden with a little shed, and then there's a little gate which actually leads to a further bigger area. But I'm not going to show you out there today because I might possibly do a bit of a garden makeover when the weather gets better. So maybe I can show it you then. But yeah, that's my kitchen. So yeah, there you go. That is my kitchen. That is the end of my downstairs tour. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. Obviously subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And I will see you again next time. Bye.